The price of whiskey on the rocks, and that's not all. Lawnmowers, yogurt, and even ketchup are about to cost you a little bit more, and you can thank Canada for that as the U.S. is hit with retaliatory tariffs. Here to break it all down for us and what this means is Christina Parsonevelis from the Fox Business Network. Hey, Christina. Hello. Hello. Thanks. So this is in retaliation. Canada's mad at us because we put tariffs on aluminum and steel, so now they're putting tariffs on $13 billion worth of Precisely. other Precisely, and it's not only Canada. You've got Mexico that's done the same, Europe, China. Everybody's trying to go against right now the United States. And some people say, this is great. Uh, this is showing that the United States is strong. But when all of these countries join forces, that's when it could be a concern to the American population. In Canada, they're going after $12.6 billion worth of U.S. goods. They're going to be putting tariffs. They did it starting yesterday because it was Canada Day, 151st anniversary. And they're going after specific items that you just listed because those are from certain regions where President Trump has his base. For example, yogurt. Yogurt comes primarily, the one, the yogurt that's going into Canada from a Wisconsin factory. So they're going after that Wisconsin mm -hmm. factory. Or you have chocolate, primarily coming from Pennsylvania, and that's Paul Ryan State. So these are specifically targeted products. Some people are wondering, you know, why is felt pens exactly. on the list? And it's because they're targeting certain lawmakers exactly. who are behind this. That's exactly. interesting. Exactly. Right, you're from Canada. The president says he wants to put America first. He wants us to have an, e an equal playing field. So yeah, it might cost you a little bit more to buy dishwashing detergent, to buy ketchup. But is it worth it as Americans because we're we're gaining in other areas? Right now, it's not going to have a major effect on prices. Even in Canada, the effect is going to be minimal because it's such a small group of products. In the United States, the long term is cars and tariffs and the retaliation there. And that's where we're heading. We're what heading do you mean in, what's happening Because with cars? the president has announced that he's considering you know, ta putting a tariff on cars that are coming into the, into the mm -hmm. United States. They claim, for example, that Europe, they charge 10% on cars that go into Europe, and the United States only charges 2.5% in terms of tariffs. But that's not factoring in SUVs. SUVs is the core market right now. A lot of Americans drive those larger cars and Americans or the president charges a 25% tariff on SUVs. So that's where we could start to see prices climb higher in the, the car sector. And then you have all these countries that are retaliating. So eventually products, you, you get your strawberries from Mexico or mm -hmm. something like that, you could see it a little bit higher. All right. The difference is in cars, you can choose what you're going to buy. If it's ketchup or if it's dishwashing detergent, it's across the board. Yeah, so. especially if you like imported goods. Yeah. So it could affect you, definitely. But it's going to take a while for those price increases to happen. All right. Thank you so much, Christina. Thanks.